Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Vortman Bakery wafers. I have the mini vanilla wafers. And I have the chocolate wafers. What makes these special is that they are zero sugar. So, it'll be fun to try these. These were mailed to us free from Vortman. So, I'm going to let Kevin open the package. Um, I'll yeah, tell these, you. That's the only two flavors because that's the only ones they have in the bag. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll talk about calories in just a second. I'm going to read you what they sent me on this... Um, this page. Um, you can go ahead and open the vanilla. Hello, we wanted to treat you to Vortman's newest addition uh, to their zero sugar portfolio. Vortman's zero sugar mini wafers. These yummy better for you wafers come in vanilla and chocolate. The shareable zero sugar mini wafers are baked with real vanilla or cocoa and are made without high fructose corn syrup, artificial flavors, or artificial colors. They are packaged in resealable stand-up pouches, making it easy to maintain their freshness and enjoy whenever, wherever. Both varieties are available now in 6.5 ounce pouches at grocery retailers nationwide. And they're just saying, let us know what you think. Okay, and so these are the vanilla wafers. Zero sugar, uh, baked with real vanilla, no artificial colors or flavors, no fiber, I said that. Um, it, Six servings are in the bag. Seven pieces are 150 calories. They get a little beat up in the bag. So they're a little, like, some of the layers are chipped off, but it's, you know, it's fine. Can you imagine how dangerous it would be? Our favorite Vortman are the strawberry banana. Mm -hmm. If they put these in, these little squares in a pouch, I need like, like instead of having their bricks of cookies, or wafers, if they put them all in a bag like that, you'd eat the whole darn yeah. bag. Yeah, I couldn't control myself. As a matter of fact, they could really, they could really expand because they could, they have a million different flavors. Imagine if they put those in pouches in um, like 150 or 200 calorie pouches and then you could buy a variety box all with flavors. all the different flavors like yeah. you can cereal. Oh, these are really good. That'd be wonderful. Uh, those are awesome. Yeah, they have a really good vanilla flavor. You still get the nice soft crunch, which they're known for, which we like. Um, it's, they're not hard crunchy, um, almost stale seeming like you get a lot of brands. These are very soft, mm -hmm. crunchy um, wafer cookies and the vanilla flavor is excellent. You would absolutely never know those were zero sugar. They're not quite as sweet as their traditional ones, but I don't know that you'd really notice much difference. I think they're honestly. very, very yeah, they're sweet. Sweet. They're, they're sweet enough, I'm just saying. They're a little different, but not, not enough to really matter. All I don't get any um, like artificial sweetener no. or anything. Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting anything off-putting. I'm not getting anything bad at all. It's all vanilla. It's delicious. I even got a little salt. Um, I think it's wonderful. The bad, the only downfall is that you seriously could eat the hell bag. Or at least I could. I would have no issue sitting on the couch and eating that whole thing. Um, sorbitol is their sweetener, it looks like. Okay, if these, so the vanilla were seven for 150. These are seven for 140, and these are the chocolate. Same texture, that nice soft crunch. Now those you can tell they're not quite as sweet. They're advertising on the back, they're vanilla shortbread and they're iced oatmeal, mm -hmm. zero sugar. Okay, not these. Those, those are good, they're more cocoa than they're, chocolatey. They're, they're nice, yes, they're very nice. Um, with the wafer, I think you taste a lot of the wafer, which I don't have an issue with. I still like the texture and everything. I think it's when you're comparing flavor to flavor though, the vanilla has so much more flavor mm -hmm. than the chocolate. The, there's nothing wrong with the chocolate. Um, I just don't think they're as strong of a flavor as the vanilla. They're about the same. You think? Yeah, I just tried them one right after the other. Um, they're just different. The The vanilla comes across as a little bit sweeter. The chocolate tastes more like a cocoa kind of hot chocolatey kind of flavor. Like um, hot chocolate, yeah. 
So cocoa makes it sound bitter. It's not bitter. Oh, it's not at all. bitter at all. It's just not as sweet. Right. Um, what I really like about these, when you're eating both of these, the wafers are so thin that you're not getting all wafer. You're yeah. really getting almost all filling mm -hmm. with some wafer to add some crunch to the texture. But you get, it's going to sound gross, but it's almost like a pasty kind of like um, cream kind of texture when you're eating it. It's mm -hmm. really nice. I like it. I like them very much. I would buy either one of these. I, if, you I, can't have, if you can't have sugar, then oh, take if you sugar. can't, yes, if you can't have anything with sugar, definitely try them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely try them. My favorite though is the vanilla. Mine too. Your favorite is too. Yeah. But they are definitely both terrific, mm -hmm. and I think if you buy them, you'll never know that they're zero sugar. No, you're, you, won't, you're, you won't care. No, you're you're not going to know the difference. So um why not why, why not get them uh because they're both delicious uh so i hope you enjoyed the video if you do try them if you've seen them already in the store uh, let people know where you saw them because they weren't i'm assuming they're going to be everywhere and that's why they didn't put it on their um press release i would think you would be able to get these at uh any stores right. uh but i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching